too. Um, Amanda, should we really be talking about this? And that makes it hard okay. to feel safe. And sometimes, when we don't feel safe, we can make big mistakes. Amanda, can we please go home? Trust me, you'd rather be where it's warm and safe. You know, you have to really think about who you can trust. Who is someone you trust? That must be nice for you. There are lots of people I used to trust, but I don't know if I trust anyone anymore. Amanda, you shouldn't go in there. I thought you said this neighborhood is safe and cozy, Willie. Dead. It's really scary back here, Amanda. Sometimes it's good to go to places that scare us. You can learn a lot about yourself by facing something that scares you. That's dangerous, Amanda. There are other... What the fuck? Interesting that you're back. Ways to protect yourself, uh, like by having adventures with your friends. What's something that scares you? What's something that scares you? Even after all this time together. Some people think strangers are really scary, but I don't feel that way. Um, I meant to type your mom. Amanda? Not no. you. You were a stranger when I met you. Uh, to, to be safe, you should never talk to strangers. And I trusted you. Riley, I'm almost at the front door. I think that thing is following me. Amanda, I don't know what you're trying to do back here, but I really Shut don't... Up. Wooly. Okay, I'm in. We need to get moving. Sometimes I worry about trusting your friends, though. Maybe I'm not quite ready yet. I'm not gonna tell it what I'm actually afraid of, Rod. I'm not an idiot. Can't give the enemy fuel. Okay. Okay, it's still do you feel safe. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hi, I'm a Whales. What's the point of talking? Sorry, we have to go look for more. I didn't mean to put it in. I meant to throw it on the table next to it, but I guess I'm not allowed to do that. No clowns. They're the worst. I actually listened to a true crime this morning about a woman who dressed up as a clown to kill a bunch of people. Are those leaves or bloody footprints? We're gonna go with leaves. I assumed I should come up to the front door, but maybe... <gasps> no! Did that thing do this? I'm really glad you're okay. Let's gather the tapes, quickly. I'll go grab what I can from the library, and then we've really got to get out of here. What? What? Madam. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? You slutty asshole. Hello? What are you doing? What are you finding? I have a train set. Do you want to play toy with me and my train set? It's fine. Do you want to watch a video? Thank you. When you can't even answer. Jesus. That must be nice for you. There are lots of people I used to... Ch 
me, Adam. I have a video. Would you like? What does she want from me? What do you want from me? You take that video. I'm out. Carmen San Diego sure has changed. Something happened to her face. Because she's cloaked. What's it telling us now? It wants us to look at the floor plan and do what? Okay. Move it around. Oh, schmick shellac. Ooh, ooh, get it. Uh, sorry. Can I click that? Nope. Can I click that? That? That's just that thing. Can I click that? Can I? What's the? Oh. Why would I do this? Why would I do this? Fun machine, though. Oh. What's the big yeller one do? Whoa. Why am I doing this? Wow. Why, heaven forbid. Is it a QR code now? Cause this is how you do it. Hmm, do you have any notes anywhere that tell me what I'm supposed to do somewhere? Maybe. Am I really close to finishing? Is it 3.30? Oh my god, it's 3.40. Whoops. Oops. Does that tell me what to do? No. What is sheep? Everything is sheep. I think sheep is the answer to all. I'm just gonna have a little piss of water real quick. There's gotta be something. I can't just, I mean, I, I keep saying that, but the game does have a lot of guess and check, to be fair. Or maybe there's nothing and it's more guess and check, so. He doesn't tell me shit, it's very annoying. That's my clue, but that doesn't really tell me fuck all. Ma'am, what do you want from me? A number on the wall above the microfilm? Is this not the microfilm? A number on the wall? Hold on. Oops. To the left, to the left. 2023, the year. On there? No. It's a calendar. Yeah, there's this little safe thingy, but I don't uh, understand. I haven't... I'm just not smart enough for this shit. I haven't seen anything where I'm like, wow, those look like numbers to a safe or a code or something. No, it might be 2020. I mean, dude, 
that's the way to get people is to make it like simple, right? And not overtly complicated. Unless you're me and I go the simple way when it's overtly complicated. It says to not, what does it say? Don't leave, please don't place microphones directly on the bright screens like TVs. It will leave burn marks. I can't take it. Oh, I can't take it back. Oh. Um. <laughs> no. I can take it out. But that's, that's it. Um, bright screens like TV is only burn marks. Maybe I'm going to try it on the TV. Oh, stop that. That's not what I want. Get out! Where's the TV? Will it burn it? Do I want to burn it? Oh, whatever. You scare me. I did it! Be proud of me, woman. Hello? Uh, is there another TV? Oh, there's monitors. We have monitors. Or not. Maybe you. No. How about you? Photocopier. Good idea. Oh. Or it'll just do that every time. Can I copy my thingy? Oh shit, balls fuck. Maybe not. Okay. That's what it said, right? TV screens. Please do not place microfilm sheets directly on bright screens like TVs. It will leave burn marks. We did monitors. We did the actual TV. Can't do that. Tried monitors. Yeah, like TVs, but we have an actual TV. The video disintegrated. Oh no, it didn't. Oh my God. <laughs> man, should have paused Hi, it. Oh, well. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What's your favorite thing about where you live? <laughs> Bitch. Like fucking bacon! Now what? Oh shit. Oh, that sounds nice! My favorite thing is how safe and cozy- Now what? I don't think I've found my neighborhood feels. Does it, Willie? Yeah. I mean, m most of the time. Do you feel- Should I check it in the reader thingy? Maybe that'll show me something unique. Or wait, do you want to see it? No, you don't. Okay, bye. Magic. Nope. What's that scary thing?
Is that a clown? Enhance. <sighs> I hate this rose. More to a clown? I don't want that. Right. There's a... Maybe it's more puzzle stuff for our puzzle box. I don't know. Because that looks like stuff from our puzzle box, but I don't know... Do you know what I mean? Fuck that puzzle box. <laughs> Fucking dicks! Thanks for the babies, Vile. I hope you're doing well, honeybean. Thanks for hanging out. And thank you for those babies, you generous hoe. Hoe for shy. And that's fine. What am I doing? I already forgot. Why was I doing this? Oh, puzzle box? Maybe? I don't know. Ooh, I hate that she's in here. She makes me very nervous. The puzzle box is really far away from that, and I have a terrible memory. I've already forgotten what anything on it said. Uh, more burning? What do you mean? I don't know what that means. If by that you mean there was more, like, what? Help? I didn't stop the video. It finished itself and spit itself out. The video was over me. But I'll watch it over again. If that's how you think I'm supposed to do it. Because of trust. But uh, it's on the ground. I can't pull it out until it finishes itself. Or did I not? Oh, wait. Why did I put it back in? Fuck this little girl. I mean, sorry. but How safe where you live? Bring it again? Ugh. Should I be, like, taking pictures with my phone of its stages between burns? Like, how intense does this get? Should I be recording, like, the shapes of burn? Perfect. What am I... What did she want? What's the point of talking to you when you can't even answer a simple question? I Even places that, that look safe sometimes aren't. In your neighborhood, there are lots of things that can hurt you. There are people who can hurt you too. Um, Amanda, should we really be talking about this? And that makes it hard to feel safe. And sometimes, when we don't Probably feel not. safe, we can make big mistakes. Amanda, can we please go home? Trust me, you'd rather be where it's warm and safe. Yeah. You know, you have to really think about who you can trust. Who is someone you trust? Satan. Hmm. Hmm. That must be nice for you. <laughs> there are lots of people I used to trust, but I don't know if I trust anyone anymore. Amanda, you shouldn't go in there. I thought you said this neighborhood is safe and cozy, Wooly. Oh, she is. Is that white enough? No. 
Is that white enough? No. Is that it? I do it again. Hi, I'm Amanda. Is this white enough for you? Hilly. What's your favorite thing about where you live? I have to actually answer these questions correctly? Oh man. Really? It's asking a lot. Okay. I genuinely don't know the answers to any of them. Oh, that sounds nice! My favorite thing is how safe and cozy my neighborhood feels. Does it, Lily? Yeah. I mean, m most of the time. Do you feel safe where you live? Yes. Yes. It's nice to tell yourself uh. that, isn't it? Even places that look safe sometimes aren't. Was that wrong? In your neighborhood, there are lots of things that can hurt you. There I'd like to eject you and start can over. Hurt you too. Um, Amanda, should we really be talking about this? And that makes it hard to feel safe. And sometimes I haven't felt safe since I was seven safe, years old. I don't know how to answer these questions. Mistakes. Amanda, but it has nothing to do with the neighborhood. Please go home. Trust me, you'd rather be where it's warm and safe. You know, you have to really think about who you can trust. Who is someone you trust? Nobody. You. Really? You know, I think I actually believe you. There are lots of people I used to trust. But I don't know if I trust anyone anymore. Notice. Amanda, you shouldn't Notice. go in there. I thought you said this neighborhood is safe and cozy, Willy. Oh, she's the kid. So I guess I have to say no. Guess and check puzzle isn't a puzzle! Hi, I'm Amanda! And I'm Wooly! What's your favorite thing about where you live? Oh, that sounds nice! My favorite thing is how safe and cozy my neighborhood feels. Does it, Wooly? I mean, sure. Yeah, I mean... Most of the time. Do you feel safe where you live? How come it's not guess and check? How would I know this is no? You know what I'm saying? How would I know that answer? And why would I know that answer? Oh. Because it's the op it's opposite day? Alright. I'll take it. Yeah. Me too. Even places that look safe sometimes aren't. In your neighborhood, there are lots of things that can hurt you. There are people who can hurt you too. Um, Amanda, should we really be talking about this? And that makes it hard to feel safe. And sometimes, when we don't feel safe, we can make big mistakes. Amanda... Can we please go home? Trust me, you'd rather be where it's warm and safe. You know, you have to really think about who you can trust. Who is someone you trust? Is, I hope, used correct. I don't know. Really? You know, I think I actually believe you. There are lots of people I used to trust. But I don't know if I trust anyone anymore. Yes. Amanda, you shouldn't go in there. I thought you said this neighborhood is safe and cozy, Wooly. Yeah, Wooly. <sighs> Did I fuck up again? Okay, I don't 
don't trust anybody? Nobody? I don't know. Can you tell I don't talk to people very often? Or go out? Hi, I'm Amanda. Oh, fuck. I don't know what the first question was. <laughs> Me too. My Even memory is horrid. Even places that look safe sometimes aren't. In your neighborhood, there are lots of things that can hurt you. There are people who can hurt you too. Um, Amanda, should we really be talking about this? And that makes it hard to feel safe. And sometimes, when we don't feel safe, we can make big mistakes. Amanda... Can we please go home? Who do I trust? trust me. You'd rather be her. where it's warm and safe. You know, you have to really think about who you the can trust. The second one? Yes, please. Because honestly, Who's I don't know what it is. Trust? I don't trust shit. Really? Okay. Shit. Freeze. Thank you. I would never have got that. What? Like, I know that was the name on the desk, and that was like our aunt. But especially because she fucking locked me in her attic with this demon TV child. No, I don't trust that bitch. I trusted her too. I wish I could still talk to her. There are lots of people I used to trust, but I don't know if I trust anyone anymore. Amanda, you shouldn't go in there. I thought you said this neighborhood is safe and cozy, Wooly. Yeah, Wooly. Did I fuck up again? Well, fuck. I hope not. Okay. Now we have to look at our fully burned photo. I'm just gonna run into that bookshelf real quick first. Face first, it's fine. Your timing is immaculate. One plus two equals MDMD. Okay. Yeah, there's Kate, her name, but like, I didn't know I trusted. I wouldn't trust that bitch. She fucked me sideways. I like puzzles. These puzzles don't feel very puzzly, but I don't know. Maybe they're based on memory and I'm just bitter because my short term memory is really shit, especially when it's just nothing that's interesting or like pertinent, like just the random order of things or whatnot. It doesn't like grab me, which is sad and on me. Okay, I'm supposed to do something. I wouldn't. Katie's are shit. Well, this one. KBB is pretty cool. I feel like the books changed color and there's a lot more pink in here. But I might be just fucking fabricating shit in my head at this point. I've looked at it too much. Okay. Bathrooms, outside, I mean, I don't, sure. Is this like how it wants me to do the puzzle now? Is it just all of the puzzle stuff? Okay. It's a long way to remember all this, but I'm gonna do it. At least it gave us full outfits for that, but like, the fuck? with the other shit. All K names are trouble. You know what, I would agree with that. Am I supposed to memorize this shit back and forth to the room? Cause I won't. I have a horrible, like not, it's non-existent. I don't have it. Is that what the game expects? Is that I'm gonna be like, okay, yeah. I can remember that and then run back and be able to do it. 
I feel like a pussy, but like for real, especially the the animal one. Like Jesus Christ. Leave it. Stop it. It's a better view if you're not clicked on it. Everything else, sure. But the one with like the pig and the cow and the muffin and shit, that's some bullshit game. Unless that's the point of the game. Is this like, are they trying to make like memory games for children? I respect that. But I was bad at them then, and I'm bad at them now, and you're making me feel bad about myself, game. My sheep's gone forever. Shit. We spend an awful long, a lot of time in the fucking kids' corner. This one is ridiculous. Is that an orange? I don't even know what half the shit is. It's very small. I think. Shut up. Nobody cares about your opinion. Is that the chick making sounds? I don't know what's what. What so ever? That's I'm zooming in on it. It's just like the orange, the apple, and the egg are all just represented by oblong shapes. That's it. So all of those I am ferociously guessing at. I don't know if that's a muffin or bread, because they look identical, too. I don't know if that goes there or there. I think maybe cow. Can't tell the difference between a cow and a... Did I do it? Is that a good sound? I think that was good sound, so I'm not going to touch that anymore. I'm just going to assume. And if I assumed wrong, I'll just get pissy about it. Because <laughs> why not? Okay. More leaves goes on the right. I was right about those fucking flowers. What is that? It's like the box makes a little toot if you do something right. It's kind of precious and an unappealing way. Okay. People. So we have a clown. Of course it's a fucking clown. Oh. Did I just fuck it up? Military man? I'm guessing? Camo? I don't know. And snowsuit. And there's the box fart. Next box fart. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's magic. Box fart. Okay. Uh. Um. I feel so stupid. Like, why do I have a key now? <laughs> I feel like there should be a moment where I'm like, oh my god, there's the key I've needed for something. Is it the lockbox? We, no, we need a code for that. But I get a key and I'm like, okay, <laughs> throw it at the box. Oh, my dog just woke up. He's going to realize he's probably... Having that weird wake up like, I napped too long, why the fuck am I inside? Did we see a keyhole anywhere? No. I just throw it at the front door. <laughs> I 
I feel so stupid, but fuck off. Like, come on. Give me something. Anything. Throw it at my face, game. Just do it. Anything. Anything that says, hey, we understand that you have no idea why we gave you a key because you haven't seen a fucking lock on anything yet. You're welcome. Do you want it? <laughs> Doesn't want me to do this stupid train again. So it's, yeah. Wait, there's an office? <laughs> Is that an office? Is that an office? Is Kid's Corner an office? I believe you. I'm laughing at the the ridiculousness of how, I mean, how, um, uh, how shitty this game's making me feel. Is it a drawer? That's some bullshit. You can open. What happened? Um. Oh. Really? Just another keyhole? Okay. <laughs> I know, bud. I agree with you. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck, though? Why is this happening to us? Nobody knows. Bitch, you got a key. I need another key, and I think I have to do the fucking train. Okay. He's a really good dog, and I'm being an abusive mom right now by ignoring him, but it's fine. But no, we don't know what order to go in, so why would I do the fucking train? I mean, at this point, I'm going to miss the, probably the first movie, because I do have to take my dogs out. They take precedence over other things in my life, unfortunately. But there's an order of operations in that, and I don't understand. We don't have it, so what's the point? What now, bud? What do we do now? <laughs> oh, you are so cute. No, there's no lore. I have, like... I'm looking at the map. 1LM2WH. I don't know what any of that means. It's lore. Um, there are lore videos like the first game. That's dope. What we do now is regain our sanity. I mean, I don't feel insane. I just feel stupid. Like, to, I mean, so far, none of the things that you guys have explained to me, I've been like, oh, yeah, that's so obvious. Like, it's been like, okay, without looking that up, I would have never got that. What the fuck? Why? Does it still say, do you feel safe? Yeah. Hi, Bubba. I know I see you there. Don't worry. We will go outside. We will. I just have to... I don't know. I don't know either, bud. I know. I feel the same way as you. Like, what the fuck are we doing? We're just wasting paper at this point. Okay, so still microfilm? I don't know... I feel so dumb. I just, seriously, like, 1LM, a dragon's head, 2WH. What does that mean? Or MD, MD, 1, I don't under, I don't. It's nothing familiar from the entire game we've played today. I don't understand. Am I stupid? You don't have to be nice. I feel really stupid. 
like, what the fuck is that supposed to mean to me? One plus two equals MD. MD. The fuck is that? What is that? That's in the children's play area. The eyeball and the key, I think, is the TV. The two rooms is the bathroom. And then the LM and the WH is the room we're in right now, right? It does look like Lisa Simpson dressed as a dragon. Maybe I'm missing. I don't know. I feel really stupid. I didn't sign up for math, Amanda. I don't know. I have to use the library computer again? That's sad. Do I have to? I guess I have it on my phone. Are they fucking initials of something or books? No, the first puzzle was horrid. Not, not again. Not again. Fuck that shit. They're taking us back to hell, bud. Their initials? Okay. I just have so many more questions because how did you get there? Why did you get there? What the fuck does that mean to me? But like, I'm not even gonna ask them because I just wanna beat it and judge it for its ending. Fuck you. No knives and nothing has gotten easier or more like intuitive by any fucking means. But there was also a dragon when we did the storytelling, which makes a lot more sense to think about if you think about a dragon. But I get it. It's a puzzle. Think about the thing you don't think about. Scan a book. Yeah, but I don't know. My problem is, is I guess maybe my brain works backwards because you guys are like, yeah, it's the initials of books or something or people who checked them out or whatever. And I'm like, okay, but how, why? Why would you even think about that? I, I just feel stupid. I'm feeling real stupid. Do, okay, I've already forgotten. What do we want? Why are we doing this? It doesn't, I'm forgetting it because there's no, I'm not getting like a, here's A, B, C, D, E in my head and it's making me feel really stupid. Why do we want these initials? The dragon doesn't have glasses. No, it's, well, I guess maybe, maybe that brown thing is glasses. That brown, like, maybe that's. I know, I'm so happy you have this guide open because none of this is intuitive. At least for me. And I understand maybe I'm stupid. But like, sure, LM, WH could be initials, could be something else. But like, why? And what am I doing? Just carrying a book to that part of the room? Like, nothing connects anything. And it makes me feel really stupid. I know I keep saying that, but I do. What's L-M? Do I have to go find that fucking book again? Like an author? They put all my books away. I don't want to do that. This is horrible. This is literally like punishment for something I did wrong. <coughs> Initials for a child, an author, or yes? I have to go through all the books again. This shit. Oh my god. I should have quit while I was ahead and saved this for tomorrow because I am so. Lo I've lost my fucking patience with looking through the bookshelves for fake books that don't glow. Come on! What's your initials? Of the person who. So can't I just scan any book and look at names and see if there's LM or WH? It doesn't have to be like the book, right? W.H. Will Hill. Check that shit out. Now what, though? Do I have to find that book? I know I'm being a little bitch about that, but, like, none of this is horrid. None of this is fun. 
I know, seven hours of looking through a digital bookshelf for books I can't click. What the fuck? I have to go find that? For what? Do I just, like, put it in the room? Cheers, Viata. I'm so mad about this, I don't even want to cheers. Like, I'm just like, what the fuck is this? And why? <coughs> Who would think to do it? None of it's, none of it, like, I don't know. I, sh I don't want to, I shouldn't need a fucking walkthrough for the whole game. You know what I'm saying? It makes me, like, what? I'm looking, thank you. And I do invite y'all to be like, Katie, you're an idiot. A lot of this is intuitive and you should read more books. Because I do, I don't want to be an idiot. But man, am I feeling like a big fucking dumbass. Because none of it. Like, none of this. Is sensical. At all. It's like, shit that people try to comp that complicate things would think of. You know what I'm saying? Is it callbacks to the first game? Because that was literally a year ago. Is this their way of being like, play our first game again? So, it shows that 1 equals LM and 2 equals WH. These are initials of people you need to find in their specific books. Go to the second aisle of the bookcase and look at the cart you found. This is a pineapple on previously. Who the fuck would remember that? Underneath that shelf will be a second book, Squeegee of Destiny, Volume 8. Scan that book to find the first name on the list, N Linda Monson, a.k.a. LM. If you look at the map and the top portion, it states we need 1 plus 2, MD, MD, month plus date. That makes about as much sense as someone saying 1 plus 2 equals Marilyn, Marilyn. So 1 equals LM, 31... 1 equals LM equals 31 since Linda checked this book out on March 31st. The next book we need will be in the last aisle on the halfway point. Look to your left. I'm not doing any of this. Look to your left and you'll find a book on a stool called So You Want a New Identity. Take this book and scan it and the first name that pops up will be WH initials. This will be Will Hill rented the book on August 3rd. 2 equals WH equals 83. Sure. Sure it does. So the code to the lockbox is... Sure. Sure. Sure it is. Cheers. Four twenty three. It's four twenty three for me. It was four twenty though, which is why I cheers. My four twenty actually, which never happens. I know I kept thinking I was closer and closer to beating this shit and it just keeps going and I'm like what the fuck we missed a fucking key we must have missed a key because there's three goddamn keys to the desk I missed a key. Which one did I miss? God damn it. Somehow I missed a key. How did I miss a key? Now, I'm going to. I'm so confused. Fuck you with Satan's cock.
Where did I miss a key? Johnny motherfucking Scar, thank you so much for some of the class. Keep in the class. I love giving any swings. I hope you're doing well. Oh, I'm so sorry, Glut. I'm just seeing it now. Behind a poster with an eye. Wait, which room is that one in? In the children's room? I hope you're doing well, Johnny. It's good to see you. I mean, it's not that I want to leave. I love hanging out with you guys. I just really honestly feel really stupid. Like, none of... I would have never been able to solve the, like, 90% of this game without a walkthrough. None of it was intuitive to me at all. It was just like... Really? That's it? There's no poster of an eye. Oh, did I miss it? Oh, that's an eye? Oh, it used to be a clock. Oh, that changed. Sneaky, sneaky. Entrance and stairway into a spider cave for a Halloween party I'm hosting. Dude, good for you. Fuck yeah. I miss celebrating holidays. <laughs> Death comes swift to us all. It's overtly obtuse, even if you get the idea behind the clues. Thank you for saying that, even if you're being nice. I appreciate you, because I really feel stupid. This game made me feel really stupid. I don't know if that was their goal, but I didn't feel very good. good. You're okay. Let's do what we came to do and get out of here. a game that happened I feel dumb that game made me feel stupid I feel like the first one oh dude Johnny that looks dope Super gross, but fucking dope, dude. I feel like the first one, at least the majority of the game, I don't remember looking up a guide for the first game. And I figure, I, I feel like we were able to figure it out. This was crazy. I would have, I mean, God, what the fuck? Like, some of the clues... We're weird ass like, yeah, you have to find the initials of a person in a book and then you have to do the math between the year and the date that they checked that book out. And then some of the clues were literally like a keys beh behind a poster of an eye. <coughs> I'd redact my name too. <coughs> I like puzzle games. Actually, I remember liking the first one. The redacted names of the videos we didn't find. Darn. I don't know. I was really looking forward to this. 
thank you for hanging out with me today. Super extra long stream to play it and beat it, but... What the fuck was that? I feel kind of like someone kicked me in my butthole a little bit. We're not dumb, right, bun? Yeah, we're pretty dumb. That's okay. How's my boy? Come here, bud. You wanted to say hi, and your sister came to be a bitch about it. I know! Stream was fun! You guys are fun! I love hanging out, but man, this game, like, I'm so ready to disassociate from this. This version wasn't a puzzle game, it was more of a riddle game where you had to guess the answer they wanted, not just the one that fit, and there is no clear... There's not clear one answer. Yeah. Not very ADHD friendly, there's a lot of recall and blink if you miss it kind of things. Very much so. And I don't know, I hate saying, like, it's my ADHD, because I hate blaming anything on that. But, recall stuff. To me, if you don't make apparent that it's important, I'm not gonna log it. It's terrible, because, like, they were like, yeah, go to that cart where you found the pineapple book. I'm sorry, what? Pineapple book. I'm not that bad, I remember there was a fucking pineapple book. But, like, where it came from in the library? What? I was just desperately tearing books off shelves to find the first step. I don't know. Like, it seemed... I, odd. Creepy vids were really cool. I love the concept of the game. But they need someone... You know what? The, the, the puzzles felt pretentious. It felt like someone sat there and was like, no, 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 that's the answer they'll think of. No, 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 then they'll think of that one. And they just went so fucking far. It was meh. It, no, 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 the game, I mean, it didn't really end. It was. De it's definitely leading into a third game. It was just like, none of the puzzles made any sense. Or like, and granted, it might be that I'm just used to childlike games or something. Like, again, I might just be a moron. But most games, when you find a key, it's because previously you've seen a keyhole that you needed a key for. Or something. And, yeah, like, yes, that's not always the case. But it helps with the excitement and the anticipation and the want to actually continue and finish a video game. Is you're like, oh my god, that's the thing I've been looking for. And in this, I never really knew what I was looking for. I was just kind of looking. You never, there was no, like, goals. It went in the desk. There was th four keyholes in the desk total. The menu of rush bowls when one opened over here. It kind of feels like that. Like it's just doing shit for the shit's sake. Making it complicated for complicated sake. Not because it's a fun riddle. I want that aha moment. I want that moment where my brain goes, oh my god, I figured that out. Like, we did that together. We did that. We did the math. We did the... And none of this. Like, even when the math was explained to me, I was like, that's stupid. Why would you do that? I was just upset. I know. I'm upset. I have to find a new game for some time. 